Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Fixing It Up with Sandra is something that I created to share with you all of the things that I love to do on a beginner level. Um, today we're gonna be making room sprays. Uh, it's something that I just discovered and I'm completely obsessed with. Um, I found it on YouTube. There was a an account that I found the recipe and it's such an amazing recipe. It's super simple and I wanted to share it with you as well. So before I begin, I do want to give a shout out. Thank you so much to A&N Suds and Such account and Be Scented account. It's the same, but it's two different. It has two different names, I believe, because that's what I saw in the comments or the description. Um, but that is the account that I found this recipe on. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, these are now room sprays that I sell in my store. Um, and again, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So this is a super easy recipe. It only requires uh, four ingredients. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So you're gonna need water, distilled water. And I have my little uh, water thingy right here. This is like, what, a dollar ten something like that in the grocery store. Um, you're gonna need, okay, ah, let me say that I am making five room sprays at once. So this is a recipe for five room sprays, okay? Now, if you head on over to the A&N's Suds and Such, she does have a breakdown to make just one room spray at a time. I'm doing five at a time in my batch, so, um, if you're looking to make one, head on over there. All right, so this is a four ounce aluminum bottle. That's what the recipe calls for. Um, not the aluminum bottle, but a four ounce um, portion. So I got these aluminum bottles on Wholesale Supply Plus. Now I bought them in a bulk supply, and I say bulk, I mean 40, um, relatively cheap. Again, Wholesale Supply Plus has all the things that you're gonna see right here. Um, they do have free shipping for over $25, which a lot of us are just like, gosh, every time we order something, if it's not Amazon Prime, shipping is outrageous. So it's totally worth checking out this website. Again, Wholesale Supply Plus, because you're gonna need this preservative. It's formerly known as Germal Plus. This helps from bacteria forming in your, um, in your room sprays. You're gonna only need like a little tiny bit. So that's why I bought it in this size right here. However, they do have it in a larger size. Like if you decide that you wanna make this in bulk, you wanna give these away to your friends and family, you wanna sell these, whatever. Um, this is about $7 and I could be wrong, but it was, it was not that expensive. So it was $7 for this little amount. Um, and again, you just, you need just a little bit of this stuff to make some room sprays. You're also gonna need polysorbate 20. Now this helps the oil bind with the water. Um, I, this is the one size that they had. Uh, you use just a little bit more of this product. So this I got, I believe was between eight to $10. Again, don't quote me on that, but um, it was fairly cheap for the amount that you're gonna be using in your room sprays. All right, so these two plus your aluminum containers and your spray tops right here. And you can get these in different colors. They don't have to be the silver. It doesn't have to be the clear. Um, they do have other options. This is just what I went for because it was the cheapest. Um, but with this, it's so easy to spend $25 on Wholesale Supply Plus. You get the free shipping. It does take about two weeks for you to get your products. So if you're in a rush, Amazon Prime, was a little pricier, but of course you could probably get it the next day. Um, but if you're in no rush, Wholesale Supply Plus is where I would go. Um, it's wholesale pr um, prices without having to have like a resale license. So you still get cheap products. You can get bath molds, all that good stuff. So check it out. So like I said, today we're gonna do five room sprays um, in this recipe. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna be using a fragrance oil that I use for my candles. I'm a candle maker, so um, I have a bunch of uh, fragrance oils on hand. If you don't have fragrance oils, you can use essential oils. 
if you would like to purchase like a fragrance oil um, from a fragrance oil from a candle company, feel free to do so. Um, I love Sierra Candle Company. Incredible fragrances. Oh my goodness. This is my all time favorite. This is Rose Vanilla. It is a Bath and Body Works um, take on their uh, Rose Vanilla. Incredible. I love, love, love this fragrance. So you're only going to need just a little bit of this. Mm. And these room sprays are perfect for your car, your bedding, your pet's bed, all of that stuff. This fragrance oil is skin safe. So this is something that you can use in soaps and lotions, bath bombs, and all of that. So when you make this room spray, if it gets on your skin, for the most part, it shouldn't irritate unless you have sensitive skin. So let's get started. Oh, you will need a scale. Now I have two scales, just again, because I'm a candle maker. Um, the one scale that you will need to make this, even if you do it just making one, is a gram scale. This is the one that I got off of Amazon. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Um, this will bring it down to the decimal of a gram. Again, if you are making one, that's what you're gonna have to measure your preservative and the polysorbate 20 out to. So this is the scale that you're gonna need. Um, when it comes to measuring out my water, this will only go up to a certain amount. So it'll, it'll read error if you put anything heavier than I think like four ounces on it. This is more than four ounces. It's actually 18.4 ounces. So you're gonna need a bigger scale. That's the only reason why I have this. If you have a food scale, that'll work. Um, but just to let you guys know, 18.4 ounces, again, to make five room sprays is just a hair under two and a third cups. Now, if I try to show you, of course, the water's gonna move. You're not gonna get an accurate reading of the water, so I'll do my absolute best to keep my, and it's, of course, crooked. So just take my word for it. Just a hair under two and a third cups is 18.4 ounces for five room sprays, because remember, that's what we're doing. All right, so I'm just gonna set that up here. Now it's time to measure out our other three ingredients. That's all it takes to make a room spray. I use these little throwaway paper cups, super cheap if you get them from the um, Dollar General. I don't know if everybody has that, where they're located, but the Dollar General is actually cheaper than Amazon. Um, so we're gonna turn on our scale, put your little cup down on it, and you're gonna tear it out because tear it out means to make it all go back down to zero because you're gonna want an accurate reading. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Germal Plus. I have this little medicine dropper right here. I got it at the Dollar Tree. That's where I get most of my, um, my tools because I try to keep the cost down for my customers. So I got this from the Dollar Tree, the measuring cups from the Dollar Tree, just trying to keep it all the cost down. So with this, the Germal Plus, we are going to use 0.2 ounces of preservative. So the little me uh, medicine dropper helps because you don't need a whole lot. It's really just a tiny amount. Don't mind the cat. <laughs> don't mind the cat. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's calling for help or what. But, uh, okay, so let me just show you what I'm doing. So I have my water right here that's been measured out. So we've got the preservative. And then I just like to scrape the cup clean so I make sure that I'm getting all of my product into my container. And with this, so like I said, I am doing uh, five four ounce aluminum bottles. If you want to take this recipe and just pour it into one big bottle with a spray, do it. Um, you don't have to measure this out into four ounce uh, portions. That's just what I'm doing. Um, so that's what we got right there. So we've got the Germal Plus. So let's go ahead and take that out of the way. Again, don't mind the cap. We're gonna now use the same cup, 
put it back on our scale, make sure that you tear it out, make sure you bring it back down to zero, and then we're gonna measure out 0.4 ounces of the preservative 20, which is gonna help our fragrance oil or essential oil bind with the water. All right, so we're almost there. Like I said, you use just a little bit more of this product Okay, so now we're just gonna add that directly to our water. And as you can see, we're using so little, so like if you order just that tiny little Germal Plus, because the, the larger um, portion of it that they sell on Wholesale Supply Plus is a little pricey. So I've even ordered like, you know, two or three of these as opposed to the big one, because I don't really make a whole bunch of room sprays as of yet, hopefully, you know, it'll be one of my number one sellers soon, hopefully. Okay, so place your cup back on to the scale. I should have put that cat in a room somewhere. <laughs> There's a window in front of me that he keeps looking out. So that's why I keep thinking he's calling for help. But uh, <laughs> it's, no, I love my cats and I treat them very well. But now we're gonna tear off this again. And now we're gonna add our fragrance oil. So we're gonna add one ounce of fragrance oil to our batch. Now, because I pour a lot of fragrance oil, I do this quite often, I can lift my cup up from the uh, scale, but I don't recommend it for everyone because you don't want to, because we're reusing the same cup over and over and over again, you don't want to, if you've over poured, pour this back in there because remember it has the Germal Plus and the Polysorbate 20. So, you don't want to pour that back into the container because it's been, I guess you can say contaminated. So, all right. And if you get like a hair over, it's okay. Nothing's, you're, you're okay. So, all right, this is what we've got. We're gonna blend this together now. Move this out of the way. Just stir it up, get it mixed really well. Now, now this, you can technically pour this into anything that you want and with a spray nozzle and call it a day. But because I'm doing this for my shop and I will leave a link in the description for my shop, for my Etsy store, I'm going to be measuring these out because I have them, um, like I said, I sell them, so I wanna make sure that every container has the exact measurements. All right, so we're gonna do four ounces. All right, there we go. This is such a fun thing to do with kids um, because kids can create their own fragrances. And again, if you decide that you wanna use um, like a candle supply company, you can get all kinds of fun fragrances, especially for the kids. Like when it comes to scents, I love all of it. I have wax melts in my store that smell like hot chocolate, so you can even order like a hot chocolate fragrance. Um, this is my favorite, the Rose Vanilla. Get creative with it. If you decide to order from a candle company, you can order just one fragrance. Um, they vary from $8 to $20. Shipping is usually about eight. Um, some of the candle companies, they do like if you order like for Sierra, um, if you order like $100 or more, then it's free shipping. I know a lot of people aren't gonna run out and buy $100 worth of fragrance oils, but if that's something that you're like, well, this is something that I've always wanted to do, go for it. Sierra's amazing. But Candle Science, um, Aztec, Flaming Candle, all of those candle supply companies, you can just go in and purchase one. But once you start seeing the fragrances, you're like, oh my God, what does that smell like? Oh my God, what does that smell like? And you just get sucked down the rabbit hole. But um, again, this is a super fun uh, craft that you can do with the little ones. And 
make every single room smell exactly the way that you want it to. And once, and I know I'm using a lot of supplies that people are like, I don't have, you know, four ounce aluminum containers on hand. I don't have all of this stuff. So it might look costly at first. In truth, once you buy the Germal Plus, the Polysorbate 20, and even if you buy um, a few of these aluminum containers, roughly it's about a $30 project, but it's something that you can, you're gonna get a bunch of um, fragrance oil or fragrance sprays, room sprays out of it. Uh, because these are reusable, you saw how little of each product that um, that I use so you're actually going to be able to make multiples um, you can go to the Dollar's Tree and buy some buy a container um, these are just if you want to buy them in bulk so and you can buy just two or three on that website but anyways um, thank you for joining me I'm super excited to be showing you another craft I'll be doing uh, another craft every Friday and it'll vary between crafting recipes how to's, all kinds of stuff, because again, that's what my brand is all about. It's just about us beginners getting together and trying to do something fun. And I promise next time I will lock the cat up because <laughs> he is having a field day out, looking outside the window. But um, anyways, thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave it in the um, comments below. I will try my best to leave, to be very thorough in my descriptions. I'm pretty new at making YouTube videos. So um, again, forgive me if I leave anything out. I will definitely be improving each and every single time. So again, thank you for joining me. And um, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications every Friday when I upload a video. So again, thank you guys so much for joining me. See you guys again soon.